I had the privilege of going to the wonderful country of Tanzania back in the year 2010. And when I visited, I was asked or invited to go and speak at a school in a rural village. The name of the school was Mwandege Boys High School. This particular school had started just three and a half years earlier. And it was started by a graduate from university, somebody without any teaching experience. But he had the vision of changing the face of education in Tanzania. And he was going to do things differently. And of course, with all his enthusiasm, in his final year at university, he began to advertise this new school, this new way of education, which was going to start in the new year. And in October, he put an advert in the newspaper, and there were no responses. November, he did the same, and there were no responses. By the time January came and the school had to begin, he had 20 students that were going to start with him. I think in that particular moment, he was devastated, feeling that, there's no point to pursuing this vision any further. A certain Dr. Yona saw this man and believed in his vision. And he gave him 20 copies of one of our books called Map for Life, the Jumpstart edition. And he gave one for each student and they began to use this. Three and a half years later, when I was visiting Tanzania, I discovered that these people were now using this tool on a daily basis. And the teachers at the school were facilitating the children through the process. Some of these children had started their own businesses. Some had already paid for the university education. In fact, in the very year that I was there, the teachers of the school had been invited to present the way they were doing things to the university because they were one of the top performing schools. You see, when I came to address this particular group of children, there weren't just 20 students there, but rather there were 400 children listening to the message that I had to share with them that day, just three and a half years later. Shortly afterwards, Dr. Yona was invited to speak at his old school. And while he was speaking, he chose the subject of dreams. And he talked about dreams and the ability that your dream can, in fact, come true. There was a young man in that audience that evening. His name was Alois Jack Makalanga. Jack, for the purpose of this video, came to Dr. Yona afterwards and asked if he could speak to him. And Dr. Yona said, sure, come and chat with me. And as they began to speak, Jack began to tell his life story. And while he was sharing his story with Dr. Yona, Dr. Yona noticed he was welling up. Tears were forming in his eyes. And he asked Jack, he said, Jack, what's wrong? And Jack said, you are the first person who's ever been prepared to listen to me. You see, Jack came from a very poor background. Jack's father was an alcoholic who abandoned them as a young family. His mother was unemployed and had to sweep threshings off the floor to be able to feed themselves. Jack spent time in a refugee camp in Sudan. Jack had probably only had four sets of clothes in his whole school career. But he had a dream. And he, he said to Dr. Yona, my dream is to study in America. And Dr. Yomana stopped him right there and said, the words that you speak are very powerful, Jack. Be careful that you speak the words of what you really want in life. And Jack went and said, I want to study at the top university in America. Dr. Yona gave him the book Map for Life and asked him to assist him in the translation process. And Jack read inside this book that most people take their dreams and their gifts to the grave with them, never releasing them. And he decided right there and then that he was not going to take this dream of studying in a top university in America to the, to the grave with him. And he began to do the things necessary. The first step was to apply, and he was accepted at the Florida State University. After one year, he completed his engineering degree. Just shortly thereafter, he was challenged by a group of people to study humanities. And in his second year, he completed a degree at Cornell College in political science. On the 2nd of July, 2012, I received an email from Jack and his email simply said, or at least it was addressed, from Harvard University. And the title of his testimony was simply this, From Homeless to Harvard, because he said if he had not met with Dr. Yona and he had not introduced him to this tool of Map for Life, he would be just selling sugarcane on the rural streets in Tanzania. And he says something very interesting. He says, if it's amazing what a person can do when they have nothing to lose. So I challenge you, as you step into the future, 
Forget about what you have to lose. Think only of what you have to gain. Because when you put a pl plan together, a master action plan for your life, it's amazing how you can influence the world. Thank you.